Hey YouTube, welcome back. Um, wanted to give a quick shout out um, before I get started with this video. This is going to Hassan O ones. Uh, this is Hassan O Hassan's O one. Um, this is his channel. He doesn't have any uploads. He has one favorite video, which is very informative. Um, I mean, I'm thinking about 82,000 people watched this video already. It's like the theory of reverse osmosis units. It's pretty good. As you can see, he, ha he, he has a couple friends. Who is this? Handsome, sexy guy. Oh, that's me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, but anyways, I digress. Um, this is his channel. I mean, um, he subscribed. He has a lot of subscriptions and stuff like that. He joined back in 2008. He lives in uh, Pakistan. Um, and he actually sent me a um, a um, a email or a PM or or a message, and he was explaining to me how he lives in Pakistan and how um, he thought my uh, video on Alex's one ten was very motivational. He says he's been in a hobby about twenty five years and it has devoured more money than he spent in the twenty five years of freshwater. Uh, in the 25 years of freshwater um, I mean uh, Hassan if you're watching this I'd like to say uh, thank you for subscribing um, any tips that you need anything like that bro understand that we're here for you I'm pretty sure if you subscribe uh, if you're subscribed to Krug 1313 and also um, um, just a Frank they'll be more than glad to help you too I, I I'm pretty sure just like you told me you're subscribed to like um New York Stilo and stuff like that and LA fish guy um, those were the first two that I subscribed to initially also um, to learn some stuff but um sometimes you have to try on your own and go through to the uh, trial and error period uh, to get yourself going um, my tank is doing good and I am not an expert. I'm just a guy who tried some stuff and it's working out or whatever like that. Um, I'm glad you are watching my videos and I hope you keep doing it. And so this shout out is to you. And, um, like I said, um, thumbs up to you, man. And matter of fact, just so you can see, thank you. Because uh, you you are the reason I do this, so thank you. All right, now guys, what we're here to discuss today is this baby right here. I don't know if you guys saw my um, in one of my uh, other videos when I was showing off the seventy-five gallon. This thing was just sitting there. Now I bet some of you guys have already figured out what this is. Some of you guys are still wondering what it is. But um, we're going to do an unboxing. Um, let, me, let me put my camera down real quick. Okay, we're going to be doing an unboxing. This right here, sir. Let me go ahead and pull it out for you guys so you can see it. All right. There goes the box. Nothing else in the box, just so you can see. Just some styrofoam. Nothing else to see here, folks. But um, what you're looking at here... Let me back this up a little bit. Hopefully it's not getting scratched. This is the um, Evolution LED lights. This is 120 watts, 1 gig at 20K. Um, these are currently, um, they're actually 119 watts, but they say 120, but I, I have no idea why. But um, these lights right here are the new lights that are going on my system. Um, these two rows right here are blue LEDs. This one is white and it follows in sequence all the way down to the end. As you can see, um, the reason you can tell which one is which, because if you get in closer, um, you can see the white LEDs and you can see the, uh, 
the the yellow one the yellow ones are white and the white is blue but that is it right there oh all right um all right this is the housing is 16 inches 16 inches by 8.5 inches by three inches deep so i mean it's not that big um it has three built-in fans right supposedly for cooling and stuff like that i don't know how much cooling led lights need for it to need three separate um uh, cooling fans but okay whatever um the housing this housing right here is actually powder coated which is what what brought my attention to like the actual model this particular model um it gives it their aquarium that sleek look if you're gonna do a overhang system and stuff like that um it has two cables on the back we'll go ahead and lay this down it has two cables okay you got you got one to control the blues and you have one to control the whites as you can see here um, it also has a hanging kit this hanging kit is right here um, has a little hook and stuff like that if you want to use it uh, me particularly I'm not going to be using this um, the way I'm going to be hanging it is it has these screws which are right here there's one screw here and another one on the other side you can actually remove those screws you can place like an L bracket or you could play some you can go to Home Depot buy some L brackets um, which I didn't bring upstairs but I'll show it in a bit and also you, or you can just get um, some uh, what do you call them but some picture hangers and that'll work also so um, I do have both in stock in my house uh, haven't determined how I'm gonna hang this yet um, I really was thinking about doing it with the uh, um, L bracket um, there was a guy on YouTube that made some videos um, I don't remember his name off the top of my head, but he made videos of how to make these. I think it was like Ricketts Reef or something like that. And he actually made the LEDs. Well, this is, um, I think it was Ricketts Reef. Was it Ricketts Reef? Um, well, anyways, I mean, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure it was him yep it was him uh, he made the, uh, some light fixtures um, DIY um, or um, yeah DIY light fixtures and he did himself and it came out pretty good see Ricketts Reef yeah and there you go they're there um, but I decided that I don't want to go through a hassle of well of soldering and every, doing everything like that so I decided to make my, um, actually grab these um, these have been tested um, by the company that makes them um, and they were put over um, their frag tanks and they had it compared to like a 400 watt tank or I mean a 400 watt uh, metal highlight and this performed the same thing um, these actually are, are like a perfect blue color which is what I like um, or like a well-balanced t5 um, and it gives you a nice look these have a uh, two-year warranty and if you like let's say you get it and you just say oh I hate the design you well you have seven days to return them um, these are called the evolution lights you can go to evolutionlight.com uh, to check them out um, this is what I'm going to be using on my tank now um, I know you guys want to see how they work so let me go ahead and plug them in hopefully it doesn't blind the camera but these do up oh, sorry you know what it's always some kind of technical difficulty huh all right well we'll go ahead and plug these in real quick okay now they have they have two buttons on the back these two green buttons on the back right here and those are how you turn them on you can put these on timers which is what I'm going to do and they'll cut on themselves but as you can see whew. let's see if we can back up the camera but those are the blues and we can't see sorry about that peoples but as you can hear the fans kick in and stuff like that let's see if we turn them sideways nope they're still bright 
and creating like this externally long beam. Um, all right, we'll cut that off. And these are the whites. Okay, whites. Yep. Okay, wow. And these are the whites. Mm, I mean, you can get the gist of it, and then, well, let's just use this as a reflection. And then these are the whites and blues on. So it gives you that more of a bluish color and stuff like that. This is what the system looks like completely on. You can see all the rays going out or whatever. And then these are with the blues on, and these are with the blues off. But let's try those whites again. All right. I guess the first time you power them up, they kind of take their time or whatever, but they're working perfect now. And we'll, so we'll see how that works out. But guys, these are the lights. Um, wow, I'm blinded. Um, I mean, I that that is it. These are made by Evolution. You can go ahead and check them out. Like I said, the 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 website is evolutionleds.com. Um, there's not really too much more in information on these lights and stuff like that. Um, except these, like I said, these don't have any controllers. You got to put your own controller and stuff like that. But you can see how lights work. I mean, it's just two buttons, push buttons. It's not hard to figure out. Um, but if you guys have any questions, concerns, or stuff like that, I will be installing these on my system. Once I do that, I will be doing a review on them because I'm moving from LEDs. I mean uh 250 watt metal highlights and i'm talking about with um phoenix bulbs and hampton t5s and stuff like that and i'm going to these now i've seen these in action already at my local fish store um actually two of them carry them and they utilize them on their tanks but um i don't know how they really work on sps i haven't seen this particular system at my local fish store on F sps i've seen them on lps i've seen them on everything else but not really a, a, a like a fully dedicated SPS tank. So um, I do have like maybe two pieces of SPS in my tank. And I really want to get into acros and stuff like that. So um, I will be buying a couple small frags. Like a green slimer stuff like that. And I will be placing it into the tank. Depending on how they do. If they do well and they don't die or whatever like that, then that means I'm going to continue to add more and more and more. And you're going to see an abundance of them on the top of the tank due to the new rockscaping. The top is going to be all SPS and I'm going to move some of the corals down and the bottom is going to be the, the, the lower extremity is going to be LPS and and like um, and like some uh, zoanthids and recordias and stuff like that. And you'll see a whole lot of clams. I'm trying to start my little clam garden. And we'll see how that works out. So um, thank you guys for watching. Um, shouts out to Evolution LED Lights for making these lights. Especially affordable for me. Because I've seen some individual light systems for like $2,000. So I'm not going with that. But um, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns. Please feel free to drop them. And I'll gladly answer them as I get them. Alright. Thank you guys. Peace. Thanks for watching.